Yeah, so I've had kind of a, a very unpredictable and circuitous career path. Um, my uh, degree and training was all in music. So I, my studies at Arizona State were in music composition and music theory. Um, I was a professional trumpet player. Um, I was teaching classes in things like sound design for film and video. I was teaching classes in finale notation software at, at the local colleges. I had a recording studio and all these kinds of things. And um, and that was kind of my path. It's like I'm going to be a trumpet player and a recording engineer and a ranger. And, and uh, that that was going along pretty well until we had our second child and my health insurance bill eclipsed my mortgage bill one month, uh, eclipsed my mortgage bill one month. And so at that point, um, I said, I really ought to find a job that will get me some insurance. Uh, and so I, uh, I just was walking down the hall at a college that I was teaching at and, and saw on, on the little cork board one of those flyers where you pull off the phone number. <laughs> and there was a company that was advertising looking for tech support. Um, for Cool Edit Pro, and I was like, "Hey, I've used Cool Edit Pro before. I'm familiar with that software, and I hadn't used it a lot. I was using a lot of Pro Tools and a lot of Digital Performer, which are competitors for for Cool Edit Pro. Um, but I was very familiar with Cool Edit. It was one of the first programs that I had used for audio recording and mixing and that kind of thing. And so I just called him up and said, "Hey, I'm interested in this tech support job," and you know, ended up uh, getting that job and and uh, actually doing more uh, testing. So they were looking for somebody that could test the product from a domain expert standpoint. Uh, and so I started doing testing in, in, uh, in that role. And um, Adobe acquired that company a couple years later. Uh, and so I became at Adobe what's known as a quality engineer, which is testing, right? Uh, and um, did that job for a couple of years and then moved into program management at that point for the audio products. Um, I managed the audio products for a couple of years and then moved into um, what's known as group program management. So it's program management, but at a much larger scale. And that was for the full creative suite during the CS4 release. So I was the group program manager for the creative suite. So I went from this kind of small, nimble team to like this huge 1,200-person project. And that was kind of a shock to my system. And um, to keep myself sane during that time, I would uh, um, kind of bring in external trainers that were trying to encourage a, this agile approach to, to software development. And over the course of the couple of years that I was working on the creative suite, um, moved more and more into sharing more and more about how agile worked. Uh, and so after creative suite four shipped, I moved into the role that I'm in now full time where I started doing training and coaching and those types of things.